Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I will share some unique ways you can use Notion for school. And yes, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first is making flashcards on Notion. To be organized, create a separate page for your flashcards. Personalize it with whatever you want, but I just made mine minimalistic. And here, I will add different columns for all of my subjects. And under each subject, you can add a toggle option and name it based on the chapters or topics you will have. Under that specific toggle, you can now add the individual lesson you will be making a flashcard. Add a page and add the topic title. Use an empty page and add a table view database. Click the choose a new database. Then we will now add the properties. First, add a text type property and put the word answer as its title. Next is to add a checkbox and add a show answer title. Then include a formula property and add a title to it. For the formula, click on the edit option and type this code. But I will also provide it in the description box so you can easily copy and paste it here. You can also add another property which is the status property and you can add the not started, incorrect, and correct options. You can now add the questions and corresponding answers to your flashcard database. So to properly have this flashcard feel, use the gallery view and adjust what properties will appear on the card. And hide the formula answer property and the checkbox property. Make sure the checkbox goes first, followed by the formula. Another way is by using the board view. Adjust the properties that should appear, same with the gallery view, and have the status property as the columns. So that you can assess yourself while reviewing if you answered them correctly or incorrectly. Here, I use it to add some sample flashcards. This will allow you to review your notes and test yourself to be ready for the upcoming exam. You can then duplicate the page to add another set of flashcards. Another way you can use Notion is to store and organize all of your links or if you're on the creative side or have a design course, you can use Notion to organize all of your inspos or art. I first added here a navigation part and we will add a table of content under it later. By the way, I used a callout to add a border for this part. Next is to add another table view database and add columns for the title name, URL, subject, and additional notes about the link. Include it inside the toggle to hide it to avoid clutter on the page, and this will allow you to be organized. You can then duplicate this table and add it under the specific subject. You can use a table or gallery view to manage your inspos and links. And going back to the navigation part, to move to the next line, you have to click on the shift, then enter button on your keyboard, and insert a table of content feature to easily move from one link group to the other. Last is to use Notion for your class organization. I suggest this for those class officers, especially the president or representatives. Here, I created a class organization page. You can then share this with your classmates for them to view and be updated of the announcements. In the first part, I added some quotes for some motivation. I just used a callout feature with a default background to have this minimalist design. Next is the announcement part, and I used the toggle option to easily organize announcements given to us each month. Next is this quick reminders part to add some reminders. 
And the last part of this row is the calendar area. You can add the link to your school calendar or a photo of it. And then add the toggle option for other important dates so everyone can have an easy access to it. Next is a notes part. In case our prof shared some information, we can add it here. Under that is the student's name, so basically our names will be added here and it will also be an easy way for us whenever there are group activities, we don't need to type individual names, instead we can just copy from here. Next is the groups part, which is also organized further based on our subject and a toggle feature is used for each group. Moving forward, I also included a to-do list. You can add here the tasks your professors give you, and there's a column for what specific subject, the task title, and the due date. And I included this formula property where you can see the remaining days before the due date. So for this property, you must add a formula property and type this code in the space above. I will also include this in the description box so you can easily copy it. So once you paste it here, click done and add a title to that property. And that is how you can have this feature. Under that to-do list, we will see here the calendar view of that to-do list. So whatever you included on the to-do, it will automatically show here on the calendar. You can just add a calendar view and use the to-do list database. And last in this column is the toggle list for our subjects. The table includes some basic information about the subject. The professor's name, their email, room, schedule, etc. So that you and your classmates can easily access it. And yes, you can definitely add more on your Notion page and design it based on your preference. And those are some unique ways you can use Notion for school. I hope that you have got something from this video. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!